Alright, it's Xavier, and welcome back to Surviving Mars. We're gonna do 900% difficulty, another church run. In the last run, I think it was like, what was it, 815 or something percent? Um, 825, I can't remember exactly. Regardless, the Church of the Eternal Flaming Llama is no more, friends! The dome is cracked, the, the llama's fire went out. He is still gonna be eternal, because I don't think he would really decompose uh, in the dome on Mars. There's no bacteria or anything, so he's probably gonna be the the eternal non-decomposing llama. But all of the churchgoers have died, like every single one of them. And unfortunately, I have to have a new church. So you know what makes sense to me? Uh, is especially because I just looked up a new llama picture online and I thought, wow, that art, uh, uh, llama, rather, looks incredibly orderly. So this is going to be the sister church of the Church of the Eternal Flaming Llama. This one is the Holy Order of the Orderly Llama. Because words. Uh, that being said, we're going to jump in here. Same exact difficulty settings. I learned something massive from the comments, which is that you can put solar panels inside of domes. And that's how I'm going to deal... Well, first of all, in the last campaign I lost for two reasons. Number one, the dust storms. Dust storms just wiped out all of my resources on maintenance, but I can get around that by put, or at least for, to a large degree, with the solar panels inside of domes. Uh, and then the second thing I really wiped me out was spending too much of the initial money on research while simultaneously overbuilding a little bit in the beginning, while also uh, not focusing on being like. Uh, very aggressive with the rare metals extractor. So I'm gonna fix all of those things in this campaign, and I think I'm gonna have a good go of it here. Uh, so let's grab the church, holy order of the orderly llama for sure. I'm gonna do the same thing as I did last time with doctor. I really wanna win it. I'm super excited about this. Speaking of being super excited about this, this is the third time today I'm trying to record this episode. The first time I got 90 minutes into it and I found something out. Uh, apparently, if you have two domes, and one dome is filled with solar panels, has no electricity, is shut off, is in need of maintenance, and has no place to live, but it's five feet closer to your ship, apparently all the colonists will go there over the dome that's heated, powered with water, with houses and warm beds waiting for them. Yep, and then once they get into that dome, that they won't come out because they're too far away from the other dome. I literally lost the campaign by not clicking that one button to shut the dome off. Oh, good lord, that was so lame. I'm not gonna even bother to render that episode. 90 minutes, though, I played. And then, so I restarted, did another 90-minute run, and unfortunately, my recording software said it was recording, but it wasn't and never did. So here I am on my third 90-minute video of the day. Uh, and thank you very much to all my patrons for keeping me sane. Because I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to make about $1.50 to $1.75 in ad revenue from this video. And it's going to take me about six hours to make. But, patron support, friends. Patron support. I literally could not play this game right now were it not for patron support. Uh, imagine. Imagine having to rely on ad revenue. And then getting like 25 cents an hour. In any event, let's jump in here. Colony logo. Yeah, so thank you very much to everyone who supports me. Otherwise, I couldn't do stuff like this, literally. Ooh, I like these Brussels sprouts. Let's go for... Are those new? They very well might be. Uh, anyways, Brussels sprouts, mystery. I found out that if you pick a mystery, you actually get a difficulty bonus. So I'm going to go for Marsgate. I don't have a clue what it is. I've never done it. I don't know anything about it. So going into it blind, I'm just doing it to get a higher difficulty. Uh, game rules. Let's go for... No, not endless supply. That's a buff. Yeah, okay. Let's go for hunger, uh, inflation. We're gonna go for a long ride. Here's the important one. The last arc! There's only like 12 followers of the Holy Order of the Orderly Llama, friends. Only 12 of them on the planet. But they're all amateurs, of course, and they're prone to being rebellious. <laughs> How do these llama clans survive? Oh, good lord. Better than Scientology, at least. Anyway, winter is coming. I'm again dust in the wind twister. Here we go. Here we go. 740 right out of the gate. Now, I have a strategy, and it's a little bit prone to RNG, but I did it the last two um, attempts to record this, and it kind of worked. So I'm going to do it again. The strategy is I'm going to go down on machine parts, down on polymers. And I'm going to actually drop my drones down. Ooh, I don't want to drop too many drones, actually. Oh, drop the probe out. Right, there we go. And then I'll do one more drone, and then I'm going to go for the RC Explorer. Now, this means I'm going to only start with three drones, but I have a multi-pronged assault here planning out how to deal with that so number one the rc explorer 
can research anomalies that can give you science if you get lucky and find them. So that's that's going to be the hope that we can jumpstart our technology, not by spending money to outsource, but rather by having the RC Explorer on on the drop and we can go find some stuff. And then hopefully we get a little bit lucky and we get one of the two technologies that give you 100 passive science income, one of which is attached to the Explorer, by the way. Uh, so by bringing it right off the gate, we can then get 100 passive from that, 100 passive from the other technology. And because we have to go through the robotics tree anyway to get this technology for the Explorer's science boost, we can also probably or maybe get the science for the two free drones from the drone hub. So I'm going to hold off on building my drone hub off the gate here. Hopefully get that technology. Hopefully get this other technology. It's a lot of luck. So we'll see if it pans out or not. We're going to start out with just three drones. Oh, I'm going to rename my thing here. What would a uh, holy order of the orderly llama? Like, imagine you're an orderly llama, right? You're just like super dapper. What would you call your um, traveling vehicle? I would call it the... Vestibule um, of organization. Damn it, won't fit. Anyway, that sounds good to me. Very, very uh, church like. Off we go. And the vestibule of organization. Now, I want to pick a zone here that's super difficult, but one, over 900%, but one that I have not done because I just did those two other uh, campaigns. I don't want to go to the same one that'd be like super cheating. It sucks because the first one was actually awesome. <laughs> well, it wasn't that awesome. I had to make a really long pipe to go get water, but I had tons and tons of rare, rare like re I think four very high rare metals, which was fantastic. Uh, like right off the starting gate. The second zone, however, well, I actually had everything all within like a small radius, but the quality of everything wasn't that good. So, but I had much better, uh, I had much better sciences the first time. Anyway, regardless, I, I love the fact that the game is like balanced enough that you can do the exact same start, play 90 minutes each time and still have fun, even though for whatever reason you got to restart for stupid, stupid things. Like that's amazing. I just, the balance in this game is awesome. Plus, if you were a total noob or you just didn't care about challenge, you could just, you know, turn it off. And that's perfectly fine, too. They did a super good job in balancing this game. I love it. Absolutely, 100%. I love it and approve. That being said, I can't seem to find a thing here, so I'm going to just take a minute here and edit this out and just look for, like, a 900% difficulty thing because I can't think of something to say for 50 minutes while I'm trying to stare at an 8 and watch it turn into a 9. All right, I'm just going to go for this. Olympus Mons. I've been looking for minutes, and this is actually the only 900-plus zone I've found. There doesn't seem to be many difficult places. The last two I did were like 9.15 and like 9.05. So I'm pretty sure I haven't done this one yet. This is mountainous. We got three metals, three concrete, and only two water. Let's hope uh, Let's hope for a good start, shall we? Welcome to Mars. Welcome. All right. Well, right off the bat, we got to start consisting of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's great. That's absolutely great. Um, so we're down here on the bottom right shelf. We've got some explorations to do here. Uh, over here, at least, we've got... What, what do we even have up here? Well, we've got like a giant cliff. We could build a tunnel up there and have some wind generators later on. Or we've got another plateau, which is relatively flat-ish, sort of. Up here, we got a giant hole in that thing. That's crazy. Wow, that's a huge crater. And then another plateau, and then down here we've got kind of like a wishbone infinity symbol kind of thing. So anyway, where we're landing, we've got 101 surface metals and 1774 concrete. Well, my thinking is we're not really gonna get any things down here to the right and whatnot. So is this all buildable or is that not buildable? That is 36% buildable. We can't build on this huge area. Okay. We're going to have to hope and pray that right here is the best tile in the history of humanity. Otherwise, this sucks. Wow. So bad. Since we can't build over here, let's drop down. I'm going to say, wow, that's really bad. Let's drop down like right there. It looks good. Let's go check out our science. Actually, before we do that, let's do one, two, three, four. We'll try to at least hit some of these things. Five, six, seven, or whatever. So we can do that, uh, I guess, over there, here, that. Yeah, good. Now, let's see if we get any luck with science. Come on, science! I didn't get luck with the map. 
So we did not. I did get drone swarm, so we can do that, I suppose, to start. We're going to have to go through productivity training uh, unless we get some luck. Uh, some luck with, um, what are they called, anomalies? I guess I'll queue up just in case, low G high rise, and I'll queue that up as well. Let's get the high rise actually out of there and put that up third. Looks good. Well, we didn't get any luck really at all here. Uh, at all. So let's start off with an immediate sensor tower. I'm just going to put a whole bunch of things. Actually, where's the end of this? Where's the end of this biome? A little bit to the left. Let's put the sensor tower and whatnot like down here a little bit. Wow, look at that. You can't even build there. That's crazy. Okay, and then let's make sure we've got uh, some very, very basics here. Number one, we're going to want a battery. Number two, we're going to need a power cable. So I'll just kind of swing one through here for now. And that's good enough. I think five. Wait, how much? How big was that? That was a little bit too big. I needed to do five to save on metals. Not that it really matters. Salvage it anyway. There we go. That's probably sufficient. Now let's throw in like a quick two solar panels. I'm going to do like one here, one there. That's probably good. Let's make sure this thing is on high priority and one of these is on high priority and that's on high priority. That's all I need, I think, to start here. Woo! We just flew right in. Next up... Let's start worrying about some other stuff. So we're gonna have some concrete heater, of course. That's low 17 something or other. Let's throw out one of these. Uh, okay, first of all, let's get this little guy down here and have him start gathering up them there uh, matals, shall we? Let him drop them off over there as well. Now, this guy, I suppose we can start moving towards, why are we scanning that? Actually, let's, let's, let's forget that one. Let's scan this one over here instead because this one has very few buildable areas, but we'll scan that up a little bit later. I guess I do kind of need to do it. Oh, bloody hell. Let's do it like this, then we'll do that one, this one, this one, then we'll do like this, this. Those are the most important ones, this. Good. Uh, and now, back to the map here. Whoops, how the heck did I get over there? Uh, let's go, full speed. Now, let's... Dumping sites? I suppose anywhere up here is sufficient, because we're not... Actually, you know what? Down here is sufficient as well. There's not a whole lot I can do in there, so... Why don't we put this over in this location? For now. Boy, this terrain is insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, let's go for concrete right out of the gate. We're going to need it anyway. Now, someone is telling me, you can see right over here under status how much this deposit's going to have if I place it here, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that. 228, 245. Uh, what if I put it up here? 207. We're actually better off coming back here. I'm going to go for the 228. Eh. Do over there. 271. Let's go for... Wait. 271. Let's go for that one. I think to start up here, we're going to need some electricity for this, of course. So we'll just do like a quick thing like... Oh, can't even do that. So we'll do a quick thing like that then. Looks good. You got a place to dump that stuff off. Next up, we're going to need some places to move stuff. So for one, let's do a universal depot. I'm not exactly sure where to put it. I suppose here's as good a place as any. Uh, next up, let's grab that universal depot, shut off the fuel so we don't have an explosion by mistake. Do a fuel depot up over here, um, as close to this rocket as possible. Let's say like right there, beautiful. Next up, a depot over here for the Matals. Looks good. And then the other depot I actually can't get in yet because this thing needs to get its work done first. Okay, we have our scanner. Not quite scanning because um, the sun just went down and we haven't built this guy up yet because we need concrete to build that guy up. I'm working on it. Next up's going to be a depot of the concrete variety. I think we're going to put this, like, right here. Once this guy gets done moving all that stuff. Okay, we got our scanner running. Come on, scanning. Please give me Software some luck. Scanned. Nope. We got concrete and surface metal. Although we do have a lot of surface metal, so that's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, can I not get this thing in? There we go. So I got a thing of concrete right there. Usually I get a ton of concrete, so what I might do here is make a second concrete depot. Um, just like right next to the other one. Looks good to me. All right. I think this is fairly well set up here. Not like the ideal scenario or anything. Now I need to get my water and whatnot. Oh, thank God. What do we find? Yes! Yes! Science! All right. Well, actually, maybe I shouldn't scan the science right away. Reason being that if I find another anomaly and I scan that, we can unlock the text that I actually want, or I could immediately get the drone swarm done, and then I could place my drone my drone friend. You know what? I'm going to wait a little bit. Oh, God. No! Oh, God. You guys all right? You guys all right? Slowed by dust. Why, is, why am I being hit by a dust devil five seconds into the game? 
What is happening here? Good lord. Did these things all die? Dust accumulated 100%. Malfunctioned. Hold on. All three of our drones are malfunctioned. Oh. And this guy's malfunctioned. All I have... Uh... I think I just lost the game. Are you kidding me? Did I just lose the game? Out of po This one's out of power. That one's malfunctioned. This one's malfunctioned. And this one's malfunctioned. <laughs> Day three! Surviving mod. What? It went straight through everything. I don't even think... I can't even place my drone hub because no one can build it. Um, and I can't... I... Yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. What the hell? This game... This game, this game, every single thing wrecked. Every, literally, every single building. That building wrecked, this building, that building, this building, this building, well, not quite, but that one has no power. That that dust storm just came through and just blew the whole place into the ground. So, life is tough on Mars, guys. Life is tough. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> All right, well... Let's try that again, shall we? Okay, I don't think... Let's go for don't panic this time. Everybody keep calm. Mars gate, game rules. Uh, okay, no chaos theory, otherwise everything on. Beautiful. And a fire. Ever, it's just like paint. That, that didn't happen. It didn't, it didn't. It's like the time that Christopher Odd lost XCOM on turn zero before he even got to take an action. <laughs> That's what that was like. Let's do exactly the same thing again. I guess I could have paused and ran a drone away had I known that I could lose the game on the third day, but how the heck am I even supposed to know that? Let's come up here. Um, what did I do? I dropped off some machine parts, I think, and polymers. Great. That thing's done there. Okay. Game. Please. Please. Dappa. No, that's... that's Okay, I typed that a little bit wrong. Let's try... There we go. Very dapper. Let's fire. And so I think I... Oh, God. Can I just find something over here, maybe? Right, I'm going to have to pause and just take a long time to find a new new zone. All right, in the interest of not wanting to scan for like 15 minutes looking for another 900... Difficulty spot, which I honestly don't know if there even are any that I haven't done at this point. I'm gonna go for Olympus Mons this time. It's 880. I guess it's close enough. We got triple metals, triple concrete, two water, fire. I definitely have not been here because I've only been doing 900 plus stuff. Oh, look at that little. I've never. I still have yet to build um, one of the things you Welcome put in the, the middle. Whatever they're called. All right, this is the time, friends. This is the time. So this is a totally different map. We have like a little plateau here on our plateau, and then over here is a, like a valley, and then here's kind of a run through the middle, and then here is a top left. Now, if I remember correctly, isn't this one the, the map I had on the very, very first time I ever played, and I spawned here, and I came over here, there's like, there was kind of a big little mountain there, and I had to only, mm, maybe? can't remember, to be honest. I don't know. Map looks sort of familiar, but I definitely didn't play on this exact map before, that's for sure. So we start out with water, double water this time, which is actually interesting because this map was supposed to have extremely low water. Very low 5,000, very low 5,000. Well, not the best, but still average 1,300 concrete. We're good on that front. So let's go for scanning. Where do we want to scan first? Well, let's assume down. What are these things? Those are going to be hard places to work around. So let's go over here and then there. And I suppose we can do here and here for all of our initial places and right there. That looks good to me. What do we get on science this time? Looks, ooh, we got farms. That's nice. Ooh, yeah, yes. This is fantastic. More app, that sucks. But this one here, 100 soul for each RC Explorer. Beautiful. Now, should I fund that right now so I get it and then kind of jumpstart? Or should I do my normal plan and scan? 
I may actually want to fund it so I get the passive income and we can keep going. I'm not really sure if it matters too much, though. We're just going to let it go for now. Let's have some patience, shall we? Now, I'm pretty sure I can land. It's most likely that we're going to come over here because this thing is blocking us off. So let's land as close to this thing as possible, I suppose. Like right there. Looks good. And then let's get our basic stuff once again. Just going to slap it in like anywhere over here, to be honest. The same old deal. Something like that looks awesome. And then what did I want to do? Some solar panels. Great. One, a two. And then I think I wanted one of them to be higher priority than the other one. I want this to be a little bit higher priority than the other thing. We'll do a power accumulator. We'll stick it in right there. Looks good. I actually, that was one tile off from where I wanted it to be. So got to fix it. OCD. Now, click this button. Fantastic. And it may be time to start putting in some depots. Though I'm not quite sure. I need to scan some stuff first, to be honest. Not sure where I want to go with all this stuff yet. Come on, friends. We got to get a concrete thing. That's one of the important things. So we'll put concrete extractor 271. Hey, that's not bad. I'll take it. We'll do that. Uh, let's throw in the electricity for it. Which is going to have to apparently come up here and around. I had forgotten about this. Actually, can I, I can come back here. That's not a bad idea. A little bit awkward. Plus, we get right next to that um, water. Now, we know we're going to need some sites to drop off all this stuff. So, why not throw it over here in the middle of nowhere where no one can get to it? Seems like a good place for it to me. There we go. Nice. Okay, that's all in. Let's put our uh, depots up here then. Put one right there. Fantastic. Fuel, you're out of here, friends. And the actual fuel depot is going to come down there. Beautiful. Do another metals depot. Oh, you know what I forgot to do this time around? Is get my guy doing the, the thingies he needs to be doing. Fantastic. And that one looks like metals, so we're going to need to do concrete. We'll put that one a little bit closer, and we'll probably do a second one maybe right there. Awesome. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that third one. Get you out of here. Pretty much done. This thing is scanning on day one, but battery is going to be an issue. Let's get the battery a little bit higher until the concrete's done, though. That's not going to really get uh, built. Sector scanned. Ooh. Anomaly found. What did we find? What did we find? What did we find? We found technology. This is actually potentially really good for that unlock. It's not the science that I need, but still. Kim Tai-hee! What we get? Oh, this guy's taking a long time. This is 10 times speed, by the way. Boo -doop, boo -boo. Kim Tai-hee! Playing the, the nighttime music for us. Like a good chap. Let's go for looking this stuff up. So this is useless. Probes, this is also useless. So once we research this one, though, that might enable us to get the drone hub, because I haven't put that down yet, keep in mind. I'm doing that intentionally, hoping I can find it on the next uh, jump there. New techs are available for research. Drone heavy load, scan that anomaly. Thank you very much. Otherwise, not much down there. 32 metals, 51 over here. Looks like we're going down there first. Sensor tower, 283. That shouldn't be too long. Then up here, hmm, I wonder if I might even want to do this one first. You know what, let's do that one, then we'll come over here like that, and then up there. Okay. Now, what's going on over here? This thing's taking forever. I'm going to need... Sector scanned. Ooh, nice. We found ourselves some average 553 rare metals. Perfect. All I need now is regular metals, and we're in business. This is not... Ooh, we got two of them, actually. Didn't see that, because I'm blind. This one's very low, 400. This one is average 553. That's that's fantastic. Let's come down here and grab all this stuff, get it out of the way, pull it back up there, unload. This is exactly what I'm going to be building in the not-too-distant future. All I need to do here is find um, more anomalies. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah. We're, we're building super slow because I don't have the drone hub yet, and I just want to wait for the technology for it. And that's going to really require that I just take a little bit of time just a smidge. High chance that this sector contains concrete metals. Oh, really? Sector scanned. Nope, found. but this 
We didn't get medals. What did we got? 82 surface medals. Okay, let me see if... The, I actually never paid attention to that before. High chance concrete medals. Con medals. This one's got no high chance for anything. Okay, let's get that out of there then. Put it on later. This one's got concrete medals. This one's got concrete medals. Okay. I didn't... I, I've just never paid attention. I knew it was there. The tutorial told me, but I just forgot about it. So let's get over here and start scanning these guys. So this, these are generally a thousand research uh, or more. So let's go for farms second because we know we're going to need it. And... Hmm, I don't really want this one. I want to do another unlock, potentially. I suppose I could do drones move faster. That would actually help us out towards our objective. I don't need to do decommission protocol anytime soon. So I want to make sure I get a lot of things queued up in case we get lucky and find a bunch of stuff. I'll queue up that too as well, just in case. Just in case I'll put everything in. Everything. And go. So definitely I think our first biome is going to be down here. We got the water there as well. That's great. It's just a matter of... Ooh, I actually like this little ravine here. You can drive there. I could put a drone hub, like, right in the middle there. And that would probably hit the whole map. It's just a matter of what's on the outside now. Research complete. Aha. Explorer AI. One th there we go. That's the one I wanted. Let's get rid of all no this stuff now. Research. And let's go for drone swarm. I want those drone hubs for sure. Then we'll go for farm. And then just in case, I'll get decommissioned protocol. Looks good. That should be one, two, th 3,500. I don't think that you can ever research more than 3,500. Then again, wouldn't I feel stupid if I did? So we'll get that one queued up as well, just in case. All right, so now we're getting 100 passive research for having our rover. So that actually panned out pretty good. Pretty good. How are we doing over here now? 87%, can't wait for that. I don't think this guy's actually unloading. Yeah, because he's not close to the... That or the batteries? No, the batteries definitely die. You know what's happening? Sector scanned. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone, guys. Anomaly analyzed. Oh, that's the... Never mind. We had already done that one. Oh, wait. No, we did. So we gained another thousand... Thousand. But we didn't actually research anything is what just happened. I see. So we're very close to the drone swarm. And then we can place our drone hub. Let's move up here with the Explorer. I, Kim Taiyi, I can't handle you right now. Sorry. Get off the horn. Now. I have to think very carefully because we need to place our first biome to start getting going on putting these solar panels in. I'm thinking down here. Microdome. Anywhere really is fine by me. And here it's not a bad place. You know? Just stick it kind of out of the way. And call it a day. I like it. I like it very much. Let's swing over here. Power cables will just connect you up. Fantastic. That's all that's going to be in there. I love it. Go. You guys have tons of work to get done now. We should be done scanning. Oh, no, actually, it looks like we're doing over there to the right. So let's get our explorer over there prepared. That's our next zone. This is our high chance. Battery low. High chance, friends. Boy, this, this thing's running itself dead. Now let's see if this... If he's parked here, will he actually recharge? Yes, he will. Okay. Any second now. Sector <gasps> Another Anyone one. Found. Okay, before I keep going crazy, we have not found metals yet, which concerns me pretty, pretty greatly, to be honest. But we did find another science anomaly. Let's make sure we're researching the things that I want. So drone swarm first. Correct. Now, it might actually behoove me thinking about it now to not continue to research that until I'm done or sorry not to get the anomaly until I'm done researching this because this is pretty close well that's weird they don't actually tell you they say 73% of 1500 but they don't say exactly how much anywhere so I can't calculate the days because I'm huh that's weird I didn't realize that until now there's no way to calculate like when you're gonna how many days is gonna take you to get that that's like a basic thing in Civ 5 I had always like overlooked let's not scan here though for now the reason being that I might be able to unlock, um, what would I even unlock there that I would want, to be honest? I have no idea. Plus, it's also possible that I might find an anomaly. Oh, boy. Metal's concrete. Let's keep going over here, then, with the next batch of guys. Yeah, we don't necessarily need to do that right away, so we'll just wait on it a little bit. I do have to get my drone hub soon, but it'll be soon enough. We're only on day five. This is coming along fine. How's my... Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. Sorry, I just like yelled into the microphone. Luckily, got a compressor. I completely forgot to build fuel. Whoops. 
Whoopsie daisy. Where do I want to put it? Uh, probably actually right here is a great place for it out by the dumping grounds. Because if it blows up, I hope if it blew up there, it wouldn't blow the rocket up. I guess I can move the rocket out later. That's a sufficiently good place for me. Uh, we'll just move the rocket out once we take off. Let's build the moisture vaporator a little bit. Ooh, I actually have water right there. Do I even need the moisture vaporator? Well, I suppose I can build it and have it, but I want it somewhere away from that water in case a meteor comes in or something like that. So maybe we can slap it in. Ooh, right there. That's kind of an awkward place for it, but we're going to go for it. Let's go for pipes. Make sure these guys are connected. Uh, we'll come up like that. Up. What the heck? What do you mean uneven terrain? What the heck? Okay. I can do it. Oh, my lord. All right. Never mind. Hopefully that didn't destroy my moisture. No, I still have it. I guess we'll just put it up here next to the water thing. I didn't want to do that, but I mean, like, you know, if that's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. Let's come down here and grab more resources because there are quite a few. We'll drop them off right there. Fantastic. And back up to speed. All right. I suppose one thing I could do is go charge my uh, rover here. Now we're going to take a lot of power to run all these things, so I may want to shut them off right away. Ooh, what did we find? We found nothing up here. Not surprising, honestly. 78% of the way done here. And then our regular dome, I think it's going to go right here in the middle. Then again, maybe I'll move it a little further if I find some rare metals in one of those two zones. So we'll wait up on that. I'm playing very tactical, very precise, very calculated. Every little five, um, like five metals I can save. Like I could have built a third solar panel by now, but I don't want to because I want to put it into this when this gets done. Speaking of, can you guys get this done? They built everything else but that. Sector scanned. Ah, 15 polymers. Ooh, and another science. I'm getting very lucky with the science this time. Still, I want to wait, though, 82%. Then we're going to probably double scan after that, and we'll probably be good after that. Um, after we do both those signs. I guess it's only 2,000, but it could also be like 7,000, I think. Okay, this guy seems to be mostly done. But there's still tons of resources. Like, they're just all over the place, friends. They're all over the place. I need more concrete. And we're not getting the concrete because we're also not making the fuel while I'm sitting here because I want to avoid spending four metals when I can get two of them back. Maybe I should put it in another one of these guys so we can actually run stuff through the night. I mean, capacity, stored power 36, charging 3, max output 20. We probably blow through that. Well, then again, we're going through it right now. Stored power 47, negative 7. No, we're still making concrete straight through the night. We got 16 up there. Great we only got... Storm oh, wow. Well, I'm really glad Sector I didn't scan. build that thing. Ooh, found. there we go. Beautiful. That's what I needed. That is a... Well, it's very low, but it's 800 metals. So I may actually want to put my primary dome over here. We also got an unlock, which is fantastic. Let's go scan that right now. We got a decent amount of concrete over here, 1400 at average. So between those two, we're good. We're good on the water. We're decently fair off here on the rare metals. I think putting my first dome over here, let's see if I can actually fit it, thinking about it now. We'll speed up a little while the dust storm's coming, so. Nope, I actually can't do that. I can't get them both. Well, if I put a barrel dome there, maybe, but that's, no. It might be possible, but those things take polymers and I'm not gonna be able to do that. So we're just gonna have to ignore the underground metals and we'll send a little convoy out there a little bit later. So with that being the case, I have to think about the dome here. I wanna get it as far to the left as possible so that I can then later on build a micro dome over here and connect them and have this micro dome have a metal extractor that comes down here. Maybe, maybe I'll just do another circle dome though, if I absolutely have to. So with that being the case, let's put this guy Here's probably as far as we can get it, but still be within range of this rare metals up there. Let's check if that's true. Conk, nope, wrong button. 
Uh, rare Metals Extractor. Yes, we can do it there. Fantastic. So that's what we're going to do then. 26 metals down here. Perfect. Dust Storm in 12 hours. Now, do I need to do anything for this Dust Storm? Not particularly, no. Absolutely not. Let's put this thing, like, all the way on low and shut it off. It's just there for, like, knowing it's there purposes. We're at 89% on research here. And we haven't really picked up everything yet either. Ooh, I'm really curious what this is going to be. Building's not working. One, why is that? This thing here. Why is that not working? Oh, it's full on waste rock. We're just, the drones are busy is all. New techs available for research. Fantastic. What do we get? We actually did not get what we want. We got engineering and geologists, and I got up here, polymer factory and fuel refinery, neither of which I want, so. But hey, at least they, uh, at least they're out of the way now. We've unlocked them. So as soon as I research a couple more techs, we can unlock a lot more. We're at 91% right now. Incoming dust storm where our water is not going to work, unfortunately. You know what I can do, though? Is put in a water pump and that'll work. Wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea to get the, the fuel generator going. In fact, I think I might look into... Well, I got to get this thing done first down here. Like, Second this is insane. Formed. We're almost completely out of um, electricity. What is taking so long? They just need five metals. They have access to it. And they just need to move the concrete. It should be any second now. Also, what did we scan? We scanned over here and we found nothing. Okay. Well, this isn't the worst, uh, this isn't the worst little place. I don't mind it too much. Let's go down here and then we'll do here, 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 here. And that should be pretty much everything in our plateau. I'll hit up there uh, as my last position. And I think we're okay. Just gonna wait, 96% in our science. And then immediately after that, we're gonna be scanning this thing super fast. Okay, two more concrete. Come on, little drones, I believe in you. They took forever. And there we go. Take that, you stupid dust storm. We have a water shortage. Take that! We have a power shortage. Boom! Okay, we'll shut all that off. We don't we don't need to ever even work on look how fast the maintenance is going up on this. 28%. It was built five seconds ago. You know what? Shut the battery off. I don't even want to oh they they Research just complete. That sucks. Okay, finally we have completed the drone swarm. Let's take a look here. We've unlocked this. I don't really care about that. This is I can now build my drone swarm though, which is good. So we do need to go after the soil adaptation. I do not need the decommission protocol. I might actually want to do this stuff first, though, to get the 200 um, extra science. So let's go for this. Just in case we get, like, a ton of unlocks by mistake, let's do other things that are generally useful. Like, this will be another unlock just in case. I think this is sufficient. Put that in as well. Awesome. At this point, I'm fine with you guys coming over here and scanning it up. Drone Swarm's done, so I can finally build in my hub. Here's not a bad place for it in the slightest, in fact. Look at that. That hits everything. That hits everything super, super duper well. Let's go for it. And let's speed up here. Let's go for some cables. I don't know exactly where these are going to come from. I suppose they can come from here. As such. Uh, we're going to have to connect this guy up there. And then this guy... Next up down there. Beautiful. Now, this is going to be a legitimate thing here, so we need to do some pipes this time around. Connect them up here. Now, these actually don't connect, as I recall. So we're going to have to stop here and probably cut up to this location. Or I could just move the rocket, honestly. But I can't move it anytime soon because we're not even producing anything. So. Research complete. Anomaly hmm. analyzed. Sector scanned. Okay, a million things just happened. Productivity training, we got 1,250 science, that's done. We found nothing in Sector C2. Let's swing over here. What do we unlock? Soil adaptation, that's fine. Aha, this is the one I wanted. All right, let's get rid of all you guys. We'll go for this second, and then... I guess we just queue up, like, random things at this point. I mean, we have everything I need. All I needed was a farm. We got. We got the 100 uh, science here. We got the 100 science here. I suppose the next thing I need is the 1 billion funding which is down here and then otherwise i think we're pretty good 
We got the drone hub all set up as well. I'm not even sure what to do anymore. All right, well, let's, um... I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't really care about sensor towers, but I mean, I could build a whole bunch of them and scan the whole map, not that it would matter. I'm gonna do drones move faster, I suppose. And maybe that, just because everything else is useless to us uh, at the present moment. Let's swing over here. We got one more of these guys to scan up. Fantastic. This thing is connected. None of these things in here, however, are built yet. Let's turn those up to super high priority because this dust storm is wreaking havoc. Havoc on us. And let's speed up the game. You're listening to the Red Frontier with me, Kim Taehee. With me, Kim Tai. Oh, I never even connected these guys. That's funny. Not that it mattered because they weren't working anyway. Okay, I think what we're going to have to do here is come Reset out like this. Complete. Anomaly analyzed. And then come down like that. Gained a thousand. Soil adaptation. We got our farms already. Fantastic. This guy's running on not enough power. That's because my power things aren't done. But here they come. Yes. Drones for days, guys. Drones for... I'm going to shut the battery off. I'm fine with not working at night. I just don't want to waste any polymers on this nonsense, to be honest. I would prefer not to waste machine parts on this as well. But especially with four days on this. But at the same time, I need the concrete. So maybe I should waste the machine parts on that. Nice. Drone hub is up and at him now. And we're in business. The only problem is, look at how fast that thing. You gotta be kidding me. I just built it and thing already needs maintenance. It's insane. Well, hey, at least stuff's getting done, right? Let's swing over here to grab up all you guys. Swing back over there. Fantastic. Drop it off. I'm liking the looks of this so far. Now it's just a matter of getting this water online. I suppose we can put the water extractor in. The only problem is it uses our machine parts, whereas the moisture evaporator does not. So if I don't really need the water, which I don't need it for quite some time, I think I'm just going to wait. Just wait it out two days rather than build something. It's just going to get super dusty in like five seconds anyway and blow a ton of machine parts. I mean, it's insane how much this stuff. Let's, sh let's actually destroy this. I would have destroyed that, but I missed it there. And looks like we're pretty much done on um, anomalies. But, you know, it worked out for us. We got all the things we needed. 30% here on another 100 research. So that's going to take a little bit because it's 1,500. We got 30% of it, so about 10 days till that's done. But then we'll have 200 research per day. And I haven't spent anything on outsourcing, which is really nice. Hey, look. This thing was repaired and all right. Come on. This is just getting. S okay, never mind, game. Never mind. Hold game. Shut off. Everything off. I'm just going to wait. Like, it's just ridiculous. The, the maintenance on this stuff is insane. I'm just going to wait and do nothing. I'll just edit it out. And in two days, we'll come back and actually turn the rest of the pace back on and start playing again. And finally, it's done. Yes. All right. Everything turned back on. Blow through a ton more components of various sorts. I did come in here and actually redid this thing. Uh, or built a few more in here. Uh, and we also have a meteor storm, but nothing's really been going on with that. At long last, everything's running and we're up and a functional. I got a little bit too much power, but I figured, you know what? Eh, it's fine. We'll turn our battery on as well and turn on the sensor tower. Everything's on now at this point. Uh, one thing I do not have, though, is my rover out here, explorer rather, ready to do some exploring. So we'll move him out, and then I'm pretty sure this other guy's just been sitting around doing nothing, because I haven't really been, like, on my phone waiting for the game to play itself out so I could, um, you know, actually do something without blowing through 15 resources of various stuff. Look at all the meteors flying everywhere. Ooh, we got 15 polymers down. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. Let's come down here, grab the all everything, and then go unload it right there. Dust storms are crazy. Absolutely crazy. Resources now we've, we've only just started to fuel our rocket, and it's day 14. Like, that's kind of... I, I did delay the fuel refinery a little bit, but I don't think it would have mattered. What the heck's going on now? Oh, uh, how much power are we draining? 
Power demand 20. Power production. We just, the battery just ran out is all. We should charge it up completely. Yeah, I think it just, uh, it might not have enough to run all night. Eh, it might actually. No, it's going to run like four hours, but I don't want to build another one. In any event, yeah, like I was saying, I did take a little bit of time there to get my fuel refinery up and running, but even if I got it, ref like, running right away, that dust storm, like, on, what was it, day seven? A five-day, half the game so far has been in that dust storm, just about. Just about. Let's look over here at what's going on. Um, 80s, ooh, nice. Where, wait, aw. That's way the heck up there. It is science, though, but I'm not going to get to that for 100 million years. This is 91%. Come on, game. 93, 94, 95, 6. I'm so excited. Give me something crazy. Sector scanned. N literally nothing. <laughs> well, I can't complain too much. I have most things. Here's the thing, though. I'm trying to be super, super, super efficient. So I'm not building the water when I could because it's going to use extra machine parts. I'm not building any wind generators. This thing I'm actually going to destroy when it needs maintenance if I can remember to get in there and click on it. I don't want to build another battery, even though we're running out uh, at, at nighttime a little bit. I just don't see the need to get the colonists here super fast. I'm more interested in saving every little tiny resource that I can. Speaking of, what's up over here? So this is in range of everything. Oh, I shut it off is what's up. So all these drones are busy doing other stuff. I don't necessarily need this to get done right now, but at the same time, I also don't need it to not get done. So let's, let's do that. Put the priority on normal. It doesn't really take very much to, to get that done. And then what's assigned over here? Three drones over here. We're looking at six drones. We haven't really found very much uh, in terms of surface metals over here. I'm getting a little bit worried. We got 26 down there and three polymers over here, but that's about it. I'm going to go pick those ones up in a second because I doubt it will do it on its own. And then I want to launch the rocket, of course. And then once the rockets, um, we actually have to come back with a whole bunch of resources. Then we got to launch the rocket back to Earth and then come back again, and that's when I want to start building all the water and air and all that good stuff. Until then, I just don't, it's just going to waste uh, maintenance for no reason, and if there's a dust storm, it's just going to waste even more maintenance. You're listening to The Red Frontier with me, Kim Tae Anderson. It's time for another letter. This one is from Look at Isaac, this. Look at this. Isn't this nice? Share his thoughts about why he came Sector here. scanned. Hey Kim, I love the music and you are 42 medals and that's it. I really thought about why I just all the way to Mars. <sighs> King dust, stupid dust. I had all the necessary training, was in between jobs, and I've always been adventurous. As soon as this, I'll send this drone out, he's fully charged. Hmm? The longer I'm here though, the less I feel it really is as exciting as I thought it would be. The problem is what comes hmm, next. He wants to go that way. All right, fine. Opportunities that will fill my need for a new rush. Take care. Okay, this is the longest monologue. Kim Tai, come on now, friends. Let's get some recharge stations going on down here, one on either side, because I'm sure drones are going to be running in and out of there. We got one up here already. We may need some more over here because this is kind of like the general loading, unloading zone. So I'm thinking like here and there. Good. That's gonna. Whoa! It's gonna take a little bit of power, but not too much. Did my little? Uh, yep, my little guy did make it out here and did heal up my rover, who's just been sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, and I was getting the science while he was sitting there as well. So it's a good thing I got that done. Over here we got everything taken care of. So let's come over there to grab stuff, come back, and this should be pretty close to done. Yeah, we just have a lot of concrete to move around. How, how are we doing on fuel? 50 out of 60. Beautiful. This is actually going to be pretty quick, except for the fact that we're out of... We're out of... We're out of... Where should I make the new drop zone? Maybe right here? Like, facing up, I suppose? That's fine. This is cool, too, because I can put another one of these right next to it. Super symmetrical. 
Then again, I'm going to be mining this. It'll probably spew dust all over it, so probably not the ideal scenario. All right, well, at this point, I think we're just going to take a little bit of a pause. And wait for something to happen. Ah, finally. Milestone achieved. Ooh, rockets out. 19 days to get that rocket off the ground. That's pretty insane. I think I want to make the new one over here. Not that it really particularly matters, mostly because I this was just kind of a mess and I could maybe fix that up or something. I don't know. I guess it functions for right now. It's just like hideous and terrible. So we'll throw this thing down. Meanwhile, I did also scan over here and we found some concrete. Vehicle battery low. But that's all we found. So we found average 1334. And this guy's grabbing the rest of the metals. And then, honestly, I think that's actually it for the metals. Yep, 100% done. Took forever to launch that rocket, but when it's all said and done, it's an efficient but slow start. I think. Cold wave approaching. All right, so because the cold wave is approaching, I'm actually going to build a second battery now to keep these things running at nighttime because they have been going out at night for a few hours. I want to put the battery, I think, up over here, kind of at that direction. Looks good to me. Let's get the battery a little bit higher priority. It's going to consume more polymers, but this should keep our fuel tank from freezing. And moisture vaporator should be good to go as well. Let's kind of keep that on high priority for both these guys. Yep. Sector and then scan. this thing here, I'm actually going to shut it up, just to rip it apart now, because it was pretty... I don't want to have to even spend the maintenance on it. No resources again. That is unfortunate. Absolutely nothing. Literally nothing. Not even, like, a metal out here. That's crazy. All right, well, we're probably not going to get many more anomalies then, it looks like. Okay, hold on. We're having some issues. This thing needs higher priority. Yes, there we go. Good. What should shut off then is this guy. Until we get that battery built and actually has a charge, I think we're... Yeah, you know what? Even with that battery, we're still negative five. So, it's unfortunate. Well, it came back on. Look how cool this is, though. Just generating the power all night long. Why am I only at five? So we're making 50. That's not enough. We're not going to charge the batteries. So let's come in here and put in some small solar panels in these little cubbies. There's three of them. One, two. That's not going to be much, but it more than doubles our five from five to 11 once they're all built. And then I'm really hoping I get like 27 anomalies over here to make up for the fact that I've only... Well, I guess I did get like three sciences, so it's probably fine. Didn't realize that none of this concrete could be accessible. I should have noticed it, but I didn't. So let's put in a new zone. I don't think we're going to use any of the zones over here, so we'll just throw it like way out in the middle. That's going to be like the new... Uh dumping zone right there it's even kind of symmetrical and then all of these guys we can just like delete them because we can't use them anyway unless i had the rocket the landed here did this guy freeze nope he wants to but he's not going to because the power will come on before he gets a chance low on machine parts i realize rockets at 85 percent on the way back we need to pick up some stuff but we're gonna actually have some money this time believe it or not although not all the money because i I'm still working on this, and then hopefully the next one is going to be the one with another billion dollars. This is nearly done. We're going to shut the power off here once it is done. Four more days in this cold wave. And... Almost so close. Ah, come on, drone. You were so Sector close. Scanned. 
anomaly. Done! All right, we let's turn that off completely. Shortage. Ooh, we did find one final anomaly. A going away present. It's a question mark. Let's see what it is. That's going to be our last anomaly for many, many, many episodes. We've scanned our entire plateau, and I'm now moving down here to scan Reason the next complete. plateau. Earth Mars Initiative. Beautiful. Now I get double research. And what do we unlock? Bloody hell, we didn't unlock the billion. I guess it doesn't really matter, because I have to go spend the money right now to get the rocket back. So who really cares? I'm not sure what to do. I guess nothing. Farm was the only thing I really needed here. I don't know. I don't have a clue what to do. I guess we'll just go through the things that I'm doing here and see what happens. Oh, physics is actually what I should do. Because that'll give me the subsurface heater for the issue that I'm having right now. So, and I don't even necessarily want decommissioned protocol just yet. We will queue it up, but we'll do it later. We'll do that. Beautiful. Done. What do we find down here? Come on, buddy. It's your last hope. Breakthrough discovered. Martian diet. I don't know what... Whoa! Did you see that? That's crazy. Another, like, ten seconds, I would have got crushed by that. All colonists consume 25% less food. That's not bad. Let's throw it on the list. Ahead of at least most of these things, I suppose. Why not? Oh, hey, the rocket. I forgot all about the rocket. Boy, things are going slow this time. Let's do, um... Hmm, let's actually think here for a second. Let's go back and look at this. So, at some point, I'm going to need another drone. Battery Hold on. What are you talking about, vehicle battery low? Let's get rid of this. Earth Mars Initiative, that's not... That is done. This thing froze to death, so we're not going to get any more concrete for a while, but we've got 95. Building not working. Good. Vehicle battery. You're, you're actually almost there. You're fine. Now, my question was, I am nowhere near having the extension range to get this metal. I will need that eventually, but not soon. I do probably need to save up and buy one drone hub to build over there later, which can then surface this service this as well. And we should probably move all of our metals and depots and whatnot down here in the middle so that both drone hubs can access all of them eventually. Uh, but with that in mind, I don't particularly feel like I need a roving um, rover guy, so let's not really order one of those. Could be mistaken on that, but I just don't feel like I'm going to need it. And I don't need the drone hub right now. That's just for, like, kind of in the distant future. So, I think we're good for all the things in here. We're okay. I think we're okay on drones. I mean, we have one really centrally placed thing that's sufficient. So, all I really care about, then, for not buying the rover, is just going to be materials. And we need a ton of them. We need an absolute... We got 12 polymers here. We got two machine parts and five electronics. We need a ton of electronics. We're also going to need way more machine parts. The colony lives and dies by machine parts. Last time I lost from not having enough of them. We're going to need more polymers as well, just for basic stuff. There we go. That actually ran us out of money and almost completely filled up the... Uh... Do I want to do a little bit more? Yeah, let's, let's drop off a little machine parts and grab a little bit of electronics. Looks good. Launch. Ooh, all right. Three days until this guy lands in here. And then... We send them back to Earth, that'll be three more days, and then back here with our colonists, three more days, and during that last transit, that's when I want to build my air, my water, and probably a little bit more batteries to really keep up on the demands here. Hopefully, you know what? The other thing is, looking at the map, I have scanned every single metal, so all I have is 227 until the game's over. So actually, I'm gonna have to build this a lot faster than I would like, because that's all I have for metals. And I have to focus primarily on getting more money to import um, all these. This is going to be a very very tight game. Very tight game indeed. I uh, think. Oh, there's 73% scanning over there. All right, well, I think I'll just wait here. How are we doing on research? 22%. Am I getting both my things? Yep, 100, 100. We're doing a ton of sensors. Why did I decide to go through that? It's too late. I've already got a little bit into it. I need to, oh, unlock the subsurface heater. That's why. Anomaly found. Ooh, that was interesting. All right, of course, a couple of things. This thing has just been screwing around literally in a circle, wiping out my little guy over and over and over and over again. 
Uh, additionally, I scanned this last sector. Also, Kim Tai picked the best time to open his Yappa. His Yappa Trapper, as they say. Uh, in any event, I came over here, I scanned this last sector. Nothing. Literally nothing. But, Meteor just landed over here. We can go scan that. Uh, unless I get destroyed by this thing in the way. Uh, and lastly, I took the opportunity to move all the depots Sector from scan. one direction to the Anomaly other. Found. Um, what do we find? Oh, that's that's going to be down here. And I can't get there. But, hey, at least we found very high metals if I can ever get to that point. It's going to be really tricksy. And the cold way is over and our rocket has landed. Woo! How much our fuel do we have here? 79. This thing should get loaded up very Meteor quickly. Meteor shower incoming. Meteor shower incoming. Fence. Oh, hold on. Hold, hold, hold the phone. This is actually a science one. So I need to be a little bit careful here because the ones I'm researching kind of matter. I suppose it doesn't matter too. I could wait a little bit for physics, which might potentially unlock the, the heater. But you know what? I think we're fine at this point. Calling us eat less food is just as good as anything else. We're probably going to have to come through here. I don't want to do more app. Well, you know what? More applicants might not be that bad of an idea because I might be able to get a saint. Can we check on that? No, not while I don't have a rocket. That's one thing I wish they'd change is make it so you can see the manifests, but you can't. So I think what's more important, Martian diet, which I can research later, or having more applicants right now. Let's go for more applicants right now. Then we'll add the Martian diet in case we get something crazy. Um... The reason being here is that I want to unlock that $1 billion anyway, and more applicants might just mean I get a saint or a genius or something like that. I don't know. We'll have to see. But let's also queue up a few other things just in case. Looks good. Done. Fantastic. And we will continue with researching this. Hopefully we get something big. I think you can get 3,500. Nope, we only got 1,000. All right. Well, hey, it's more than nothing. More than nothing. What have we actually finished by doing that is my question. the sensors so we unlock the extractor upgrade which is honestly not that bad in fact it's actually kind of good for what we need let's put that in and i'll probably put it ahead of martian diet because food's not going to be a huge concern uh for a little while not that the extractor i might i might use it on the water or something like that now let's check this out we got a ton of things we've got to unload here we may need another universal depot for this i suppose it doesn't hurt to have two side by side maybe it does for all i know i don't know we'll shut the fuel off there everything else is allowed to come over here great Absolutely great. I may want to actually eventually move the rocket landing pad like right here. Probably be a lot more like a centrally located um, position for all this stuff. But for now, we're okay. Uh, also, this guy's got basically nothing to do. Like we can pick some stuff up here and unload it there. And that's about it. Help move all these metals. Boy, that guy loads stuff up fast. Sector scanned. Oh yeah, it's nothing I can do about that though. Drone load, and this is all done. Autonomous sensors, sensor towers no longer require power or maintenance. Well, that being the case, maybe I should just crank out like 10 of them. Don't they take an electronic component though? They do, in which case I'm not gonna crank out any of them. I'm fine. I can't get anywhere on the map at this point for a thousand years anyway. I guess th theoretically I could. I do have 55 components, but that's all I've got for a long time. However, Getting down there means I may be able to find some interesting stuff. Is this naturally frozen? Wow. Okay. Research so I'm not complete. I'm not gonna want to go down there anyway. Then I may want to come over here, in fact. Live from Mars. Alright, well we did pick up that. That was actually surprisingly quick. Now we're doing the extractor, and there's the billion dollars that I want. Probably do that before I think the food. Or actually, maybe the food's more important because. Yeah, let's do that, then the billion dollars, because we're not going to be sending that guy back for a while, and then I guess we should just start working on this line up here. Or, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to wait for that one. I'll just queue this up in the meantime, just in case something happens. I don't know. I always say that, but nothing ever happens. Like, there's no case where, where there's something goes on. Can we launch this guy yet? Nope. But soon... It's going to load all this metals and unload the metals and stuff like that. All right, so what's going to happen is I launch this rocket. Probably going to do like a five-minute skip ahead here. Wait for the rocket to get back. Then we'll Sector select scan. our colonists. And then I'll start queuing up on my air, my water, my base, all that good stuff. 
for now, though, nothing's really going to happen for a little while other than unloading the rocket and loading the rocket, and that's it. And then micromanaging this little doofus down here uh, to go back and forth, which I don't think anyone really needs to see all that stuff. All right, probably about time to start doing stuff here. We got 214 medals remaining. And that is it. So here's the plan. First of all, this thing took forever to unload because it's facing the wrong way and it's really far away from this new relocated uh, metal source. So, or depot or whatever. So I'm gonna actually move the landing pad over here. That way we can come right in. Ooh, that's actually fantastic. I like that a lot better. We can come right in and out here to do all this good stuff. We got this guy over there. Meanwhile, uh, let's come over here and put in a whole new depot for fuel. This one I probably want to be a little bit further away just in case it does blow up. I'm not sure where exactly. I've seen these things blow up before, but I don't know what their range is. So why don't we stick it kind of out there just in case. So this thing over here will destroy that. This thing over here will destroy that. These two things can get taken care of. This now actually uh, got exhausted. So let's come in and put in a whole new one. New concrete extractor. Good. I'm not sure exactly where. Let's see, 268, 308, 346, 356. That seems sufficient. Um, let's leave a little bit of space up there for one more. But otherwise, <clears throat> otherwise we'll just run that in there like this. Good. Now, the rocket's 53% of the way back to Earth, so I can probably start now working on uh, additional stuff. Let's put a second battery over here, kind of uniform looking like that. So we have three, three of them. We're going to need four of them, I believe. Just been, I've been scanning a whole bunch of things. I didn't even look at it because it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be able to get down there for ages of empires. We're going to need a rarer metals extractor. This one, I believe, was better. This one's average 553. That was 400 very low. Yes. So rare metals extractor as far away from this as possible. That looks good. I'm assuming that's going to hit all of them. I didn't actually check. Let me check just to be 100% sure. 553. Yes. Good. That is going to work. Now, we're going to need some electricity over there. And I'm going to use this as an up. Whoa. Hey, friends. Let me use this as an opportunity to also put in um, some pipes because I want to have a heater over here eventually. So let's make sure these guys are connected as such. Not that I really need to connect to that with a pipe, but just in case. Uh, let's put a water heat. I, I would like to have two water heaters, I think. I'm going to go for maybe that. And kind of the opposite side like this. Very symmetrical. Looks good. Or not heaters, water tanks. We're going to need a water um, extractor now that I think about it. Electrostatic which... dust storm approaching. Oh, wonderful. Maybe I shouldn't be messing with all of this stuff then. Honestly, let's delete. Yep, not even going to bother. Not even going to bother. <laughs> this freaking game. Uh, actually, wait. Electrostatic dust storm, that's not as bad as a great dust storm. Still, it's not good. So I guess we'll move up all this stuff over here. Great, good. I'm, I'm still not going to bother building anything that I don't absolutely need to. I've got 200 medals and we're kind of going through them on maintenance here. So I'm going to have to build another dome over here next, which is annoying because I don't have enough power over here. Uh, I want to build a dome over here for more power, but then I'm, whoa, I'm going to need another dome over here to get this stuff going. I just don't have, I don't have much of a choice. Like these things need to get done. Also, a connection needs to come over in this direction. So... I'm gonna need a drone hub as well pretty soon. I'm gonna hope that this 200 metal survives until the colonists. Oh, speaking of, the colonists are ready to come. Let's see, passenger rocket. Do we have? We did get an extra 50 applicants, right? But we only have 75. Did they all just disappear? <laughs> Apparently. Let's check their perks. No genius, no saint. Ah. Let's go for composed, uh, sexy for reproducing. I like workaholic, it's pretty good. Individual performance increased by 20. What is he, that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, before I even do this, let's come over here and go for age. Let's shut off everything except adult. Yeah, now let's go back. These flaws, just literally everything off. We just have flawless everybody. We're down to 10, wow, okay. Can't even handle that, so. Should I grab a couple youths? Yeah, I don't know. Boy, we're not even getting six males, four females. Hmm. We're going to have to allow some flaws. Loses comfort every day living in a dome over 30. That I can probably deal with. Suppose we can turn that one off. Increases performance penalty. There, we got two loners. 
We could have high morale on everybody, but that seems unlikely, to be honest. Lose his sanity when low on comfort. I think we can handle that. Shut off the whiner. Good. Let's come back. Make sure the genders are fairly even. 10-6, I suppose. I suppose. And then we got no specializations regardless. And then looking at perks. Yeah, that sucks. I don't have any anyone good. I missed the saint from last time. Ooh, enthusiastic. Those guys are the best. All right, this looks good to me. 16 people. Launch. 12 passengers. Fine. We got, we got 12 days, I think. No, 10 days or so to build everything and move these guys in before they die. So let's make sure I do exactly uh, ex building all the stuff. That's what I mean. I was going to say exactly that, but that sounds like I meant let them, <laughs> let's like let them die. That was not the intention. Let's go over here. It looks good. And then that's the nursery. Next up's going to be the grocer. I like putting the grocer in the middle there. Fantastic. We are going to have a pipe over here, I think. So if I were to do the infirmary, I'm not going to do that right now anyway. But if I were to do it, we'd have to put it in kind of like here. Just I'll just leave it open for now. I do kind of want the diner, though. Let's speed up because things are going a little bit slow. The space bar. Yeah, I think I think it's a nice thing. Nice place for people to have some social. It worked out well for me last time. Now, I do need some kind of park. I might build. Whoa, what is this? Oh, that's the electrostatic dust storm. Now, this is not that bad. Okay, this is not the thing I was thinking about, actually. Because things aren't going crazy high in maintenance all of a sudden, as far as I can tell. We did get our water off, unfortunately. Let's build a new water thing, then. 5,200. Sector scan. 5,100. Both very low. All right, doesn't matter which one. So, let's go for... You know what? I'm just going to slow down for a second. Water. I'm just going to go for this one, I think. Actually, you know what? This one's probably fine. Can I? Ooh, if I build this close enough, I might be able to get it so that both this and the other thing can be heated at the same time. That would be interesting. Let's do that and add in a little bit of a pipe connection here. Fantastic. And while I'm thinking about it, a little bit of an electrical connection as well. Great. Now, I think I will come back over here and we will rebuild that rare metals extractor. I guess I had decided to put it right there and i was doing the water pipes before as well so let's throw those guys in we'll do one here and one there good now i got three batteries i got two water tanks i need oxygen tanks more than i don't think they can freeze so it doesn't matter too much i should go check that research before anything happens what did we get done there we got this the extractor amplification unfortunately we did not get the heater so we're gonna have to go for the low g turbines when do I want to do the low G turbines? Well, it really depends. This is a very good question. I'm going to need the Mars crowdfunding. I'm going to need that soon. Let's get the diet out of the way. Crowdfunding first, then the low G turbines to unlock the heater, then the heater. Then we'll go for the diet. We'll be fine with the farm, which we have. Speaking of, thanks for reminding me, game. Let's come over here and throw in exactly that there farm. And what am I lacking now in terms of... I need a park for people to hang out in. I'm not sure where to put it is the question. If I put it over here, we can't get the infirmary. Then again, don't I have the spider for infirmaries in this one? Or is that... No, that was a different one. Okay. Well, I think you can get a spire for infirmaries pretty early on. But I can't remember if that's the case or not. Plus, I can put one in here. So, I'm going to actually forgo the infirmary for some time. So, that being the case, why don't we put in a fairly big park for a lot of people? Put in, like, a lake. And we'll put it kind of, like, right there. And then we can have this right there It'll be the tube that goes over to the um, the next biome over by our metal extractor. I'm not sure how many things I've queued up here, but I do know that I didn't do the air yet. So let's make sure I get that one done. I don't know if the air can really freeze, but regardless, I want to put it next to the water. Where the heck is that then? Come on. I can probably speed up. Moxie right there. Hmm. I could do it sort of symmetrical, which would be something like this, I think. And then we'd have to have the pipe come in from the other direction, just, just to be cool about it. I'm not sure if I really want to even connect these guys, because then the thing looks terrible. I don't, it doesn't even look like I can do it. I'd have to do it like here. I guess. There, that's taken care of. Make sure we get the electrical coming in from the other direction. A little bit of a weird setup, but I'm thinking forward about keeping all this stuff warmed up. Now, air tanks. Here's not a bad place. 
Do I want two right here? I suppose. What if a meteor hits both of them, though? I'm not really, uh... No. Let's, let's do it a little bit different. Let's put an air tank over here. And I don't mind having extra water towers, uh, so why don't I put one in... Like, right there. That's very symmetrical. We got water over here by the right, air over there by the left. I like also having three Sector oxygen seven. tanks just in Anomaly case, found. so... That way we can last, like, forever and a day if we need to. Get rid of all this stuff, it doesn't matter none. How long do we get until guys arrive? 80% actually, surprisingly fast, okay. Oh, wait a minute, nope, hold on. This one needs to not be there because we have to have a tube that comes out of there. Just remembered that. So with that being the case, my dreams of eternal symmetry have been for naught. We'll put that guy over there, I suppose. And we'll put a fourth one over there a little bit later. That'll be symm uh, symmetrical. Okay, now I think we're pretty good here. Woo! I was hoping for an anomaly, but no such luck. No such luck. Everything's moved from up in this location. I don't need two of these guys. We'll shut one of them down. One should, should be sufficient. In fact, where we could use another one would be up over here. Uh, in this general corner, because there's a lot of stuff going on there. And we got two down here. That's pretty good. We also have two right here on this thing. I like this little base. It's a little wonky, but, you know, it works. It absolutely works. Water is up and at them. Colonists have arrived, but I don't want to send them in yet until we're done building. We shouldn't be too much longer. And then the next thing is going to be another dome over here, but that's kind of low priority, so let's let this stuff get done first. Crowdfunding, we're working on that. 200, that's going to be like eight days there, thereabouts. That's when we can send our rocket back. I've only got 29 million. Wow. That 1 billion. How am I going to spend it? Well, I do need a drone prefab for one. So that's like 150. Otherwise, I think the rest of it's just going into machine parts, electronics, and polymers. And then we'll see if we can survive long enough to get this, uh, to not run out of metals. I'm very, very, very glad. Because that money going into all these things is going to be super nice. Super, super, super Hello, nice. Hello, folks, and welcome back. This is the red I'm hoping... Oh, God, if this gets hit... That was close. Please don't get hit. Let's also make sure the oxygen is super high priority. Zulus? Sector scanned. Select a sector Ooh. to scan. This one had 5,500 water. 12 high average. 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 Unfortunately, it's like all uh, cold. But you know, I, I will have heaters soon. Ooh, I ran out of things to explore. Okay. Let's actually explore down here now. Keep fighting for what you believe is right, even if the chances to win are non-existent. You know, um, Kim Tae, that does not sound like the best tough, plan, to be honest. Going. You've got no chance of success. Keep trying. Energy to go on. It's like, no, cut, learn to cut your losses. Now, we actually couldn't even land the rocket if I wanted to because we have a dust storm right now. This dust storm doesn't seem that bad compared to, like, the, the great dust storms. Those things just wreck everything. I think I understand the difference between the two. One's a lot less ridiculous. Now, I, the other thing about the drone hub is that I desperately need it just to get more drones. I've only got eight in the whole colony. Nice. Air generators up and at them. This thing should probably now be turned on. Electricity is going to be a big concern in like five seconds. Let me think before I land it really quickly. So probably I'm going to do school... And then what? Like, university? I can't remember now. Battle dome, basic dome, micro dome, this thing, that thing. Research lab could fit over there, but with nothing else. I think it was school. I don't want to build that right away. Maybe I'll build it soon, though. I think it was, like, school and, um... Unless there's something else I'm forgetting, I, I probably want to go for the university. I'm going to miss the medical ward, but I think I can build, the, I can research one of those and put it in the middle not too long from now. And we can connect up all these domes. Okay. Are we ready? Our extractor is connected and ready for people working. Maintenance is chugging along. We have water. Actually, we don't have any stored water whatsoever. So if the water were to go out, we'd die. However, we'll get it going pretty quickly here. And we do have one out of three water. So 
Actually, look at that. Building is deteriorated. Let's get the water extractor a little bit higher priority. We'll just wait a little bit here for things, the high priority things to get done. Only having eight drones is pretty rough. This thing up here is low. Yeah, but that thing needs some maintenance as well. There's our... Oh, nope. Never mind. About to say there's our water tank. Not so much. Okay, here's our maintenance... Last thing I want is to land everybody and then be like, starving, freezing, all this other good stuff. Electricity is good. We got 56, 38, 285, 300 on the power. Looks like that's coming along. We're going to need a, we're gonna need more for sure. At nighttime, we're negative 45. Stored power 300. Let's just watch for the one night to see how low we get to know how much I got to put in for more power. I need another dome, but I only got 150 metals and that's it. That is it. Yeah, look at that. We're actually... We ooh, that's shortage. close. We actually had a power shortage for like zero seconds. Hmm. I suppose I could run one wind generator. Or uh, I could build some solar panels outside. I don't want to, but I mean, oh my god, that metal. The metal, the metal. If I die, it's going to be for metals. Anywho's, I think the time has come. We've got oxygen, we've got some power, we've got some water, we're increasing all of these things. Here we go! Here we go! Welcome! Oh, you know what this means, guys? You know what? See you later, Kim Tai. It's time to free the Earth! Absolutely fantastic. Where the heck is this guy? And the colonists, what was, what, I forget the name of this thing now. Something about, um, like a dapper llama. What was it again? <laughs> Hope and determination. The first founders have set foot on the red planet. Ooh, here they come. It's always so exciting. First Hunams on Mars. Running out to like weird 50s surf music. Almost kind of like, I guess it's poetic. But, you know, they're surfing down the thing here. Let's look at the colony from their perspective. Oh, look at that. It's not even... Look at all this. Imagine how excited you would be to see air tanks 10,000 times the size of you. Rovers bored out of their minds. Resources for days. Like rovers going around doing their work. Everything's fantastic. Water reserves. You would be so happy if this is where you landed on Mars. I think. I absolutely do think that. Now. Now. We need to make sure we get money. We need to get money fast. Oh, good lord. Also, that rocket, super high priority. Get that thing fueled up and launched out of here for sure. We got four people working. Let's put on a second work shift. It's only normal priority for now. The diner, we can probably cut back on that just a smidgen. We do want two shifts here. We got one, two, three, four people total. Oh, and the farms. Yes, I had forgotten about that. So we want to go not for wheat. Let's go directly to soybeans. Soybeans, soybeans. I'm just going to leave it on soybean. Let's go back and forth until I remember to change it to wheat. Right now we're at 50%. That should be good, though. Absolutely. Everyone's getting their jobs. How are we doing outside here? Three people. Let's take a quick look on colonists. We got one composed. Kennedy Jenkins. He's outside already. Good thinking. Any more? No. We really? We only have one composed person in the entire colony. Bloody hell. Male, male, female, male, male, female, male, 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 female. Well, guys, thanks for making it easy on me. Thanks, three females to spawn an entire population. Let's hope we can do it. Woo! All right, well, when's are you returning? I load the rocket up, send it back, spend our last billion dollars that I'm not even actually done researching yet. I gotta research that for a few days. Hopefully nothing goes wrong, because, you know, that's not gonna be a problem. Obviously, metals are number one priority. In fact, we're not even done building here. We got one more um, water tower. We're gonna be short on power as well. In fact, I need to probably stop right now, because we're gonna have a power outage in our first night in base. I could probably shut a couple things off, though, that I don't necessarily need. Like, we got 161 fuel. I could probably shut this guy off. I can shut that guy off. Also, I should probably add the power on over here. Oh, it, it takes two polymers, but you know what? I'm going to do it. 25% production is worth it for this because we need that money. And then I need to build a little tube down here to another little minor biome, which is going to take us quite a bit of um, effort. Boy, how am I even going to get anybody over there to work in that location? I don't know. I'm not sure if I can do that right away. Metals is going to be such a nightmare. 
If we get a dust storm again, even with these things in here, we might be screwed. I need to hopefully not get a dust storm before my population grows uh, big enough to build that secondary dome to come over here and deal with this. That's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Guys, stop playing commercials when I'm trying to end the episode. Anywho's, I'm very excited about this one. I think I can make it, but it's not going to be easy. Oh, dust storms. Oh, I don't know. I just needed a little bit more metals, but there's nothing I can do about it, you know? We're just going to have to make do. We'll get the tube in. How much is that tube going to be? How much is this microdome going to be? You know what? I may as well just put it down, make sure I can get it in. That tube isn't going to reach. Okay, well, we're going to have to do a basic dome then. That's 20 metals. Well, I guess it's actually cheaper than the microdome, to be honest, so that's probably not a bad idea. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not even sure if this is going to work. We're going to have to find out. So let's imagine I put it there, right? Come over here for the... Nope, that's the wrong one. Metal extractor. Yep, I can get it, but barely. Can I get a tube? Blocking object. Nope. Oh, no. 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 That means I only have one option. It's a barrel dome. That means I'm gonna need polymers, which is okay. Then we have polymer maintenance, but then we're gonna need to, then we're gonna need more polymers. Ah! Why everything always not the way I want? Will that work? Metals extractor overlaps deposit. That's fine. You know what? I can actually even move this one. I can move it one more to the right if I wanted to. Do I need to, though, is the question. Let's go take a look at this really quick. Passage from here. I'm, that, I might have to move that water tank. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Woo. That is perfect. We're going to have to move that water tank. Unless... I doubt this is going to... What if I did like that? Nope. Well, actually, yes, because I could move this one tile to the right, like I just said, so... Let's try to do exactly that. If I can remember exactly where it was. I think there. Let's go see. Yes! Look at that, guys. Too far from working. I know it's too far from the drone, but that actually does work. We can get the uh, extractor down here, just like such, and then... We can get this passage in like such. Don't even need to move anything. And look at that. Woo! That's crazy. Uh, how many resources is this? 20 metals. How much is this one over here? Zero. And then how about this guy over here? Concrete. Okay, well... We're gonna be down to 128 once this is done. Polymers will be down to 10. That's gonna be crazy. We're gonna have polymer maintenance on this. I got three batteries. I'm gonna have to really be efficient with power, which is another major concern. This is gonna take 15. Oh boy, at nighttime, that's gonna be rough. Everything's gonna be super rough. I gotta build another one of these micro domes, I think, over here. Or, you know what I could do is build a, a basic dome. Wouldn't be that bad of an idea. I'm gonna take 10 more polymers to do it, but I could just, I could just fill this absolutely fill it with solar panels what a weird conundrum i'm in right now i don't even know what to do about this anyway once we're returning rough time town be uh, commences and the um uh, what the heck is the name of this column i can't remember it's something about llama dapper llama i don't know i guess the llama puts on a hat or something and we remember the name of the colony but anyway until then thanks for watching and i'll see you soon Did these things all die? Dust accumulated 100%. Malfunctioned. Hold on. All three of our drones are malfunctioned. Oh. And this guy's malfunctioned. All I have... Uh... I think I just lost the game.